Hi everyone. So some of you guys might have seen my previous videos where I've been doing harness training and I've been trying to train Ivy here to wear the harness and then I've been trying to train George when he was a baby McCaw to wear a harness. He's still a baby. Um, and then you would have seen my other video where I did troubleshooting tips for if you're having trouble um, harness training. Well, I wanted to tell you that, you know, one of the things with, with birds and with pets in general is that you never stop learning, okay? And I've since learnt that he's not going so well. In fact, he got, he started getting aggressive with it and he did actually bite me. So, you know, I have actually sought out help from people that know way more than me. And what I've decided to do in this little playlist is I'm going to start playing around. Um, I'm going to start reworking him and reconditioning him. And one of the things that we need to do is um, <clears throat> it's going to be a bit slow. It's going to be a bit boring. But <laughs> so, as I was saying, one of the th <laughs> one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to slowly start working on it again. Um, Using some of the techniques I've been learning from reading different stuff and I've been watching different training videos. Yes, hello! And, um, you yeah, know, we're going to try and work on this again. I do want to do it in a playlist. I know this is very brave. It will be very raw. There will probably be mistakes. But it's all about the learning process and I wanted to diary that. So we decided, um, well, I decided I was going to set up the playlist as a bit of a vlog so that pieces so that um, we can have a we can show step by step how we've actually progressed we're trying to do this can you get on my shoulder you're being a pain get on my shoulder step up step up <laughs> okay so what are you doing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by getting um, one of his favorite treats now another thing you guys might um, realize when you're trying to work with your own birds is that if you spoil him to death, like George gets spoiled, like he's completely spoiled. So he gets everything he ever wants. So that makes it really hard for me to actually pinpoint a specific thing that he would like as a treat. Stop! Because he always has everything, so he doesn't feel like he needs anything. Um, cut it out. All right, so we're gonna sit down and have a little look at that first. So. First things first is you need some sort of a training stand. But I don't have a training stand at the moment, but you can pick up these budgie ones from the pet shop for like 20 bucks. Um, if you can't, wait, come up here, up here. If you don't have something like that, you can um, use the back of a chair. But what I'm doing right now is I want to suss out what sort of treats you might like. One of the things you could try is you could try um, some of these little fruit squeeze things. I've seen that done. He's I've only introduced him to this yesterday. I don't think he's really keen on it, so it's something we probably won't continue with. Um, but I have his dish here full of things that he does love, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look and, you know, look, I know he likes grapes, so maybe that's something that we need to cut them up a little tiny and give them to him. Sometimes it works to have something really little because if you're going to try and train with big food like that, um, you're going to have issues with they spend more time eating the food that you just gave them rather than concentrating on what you're trying to teach them. So something like this is really impractical. But if I cut it up into tiny little pieces, I could possibly give him a little tiny piece each time he does something right or he gives me the behaviour I'm wanting and then that might be a little bit better. One of the behaviours George has learnt that I um, taught Ivy is instead of just slamming himself into getting food, he has to ask for it by raising his paw. So you'll see him do that occasionally as well too. Okay, so um, from what I've been watching and reading, I don't want to start by trying to put this harness on him at all. In fact, I'm going to be okay with him not having a harness on him for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to start, I am going to continue with this crate. All I want to do is hold up the harness. And if he doesn't show 
any signs of hating it, I'm going to give them a treat. So we're going to start with that. I don't have a clicker to do clicker training, but I'm going to start by, I'm also going to be doing the voice. Um, yay, I'm going to be doing the voice stuff. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, see how he's asking. Yeah. 